Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today, I will show you some methods to fix error code CE460628 on PS4. Method 1, sign out and sign in back. From the main dashboard of your PS4 console access the setting menu. Once you're inside the settings menu, access the account management. Next, select sign out. After you confirm the operation, Sign back in at the login screen that just appeared and see if the problem is now fixed. Method 2. Restart your PS4. First, press and hold PS button on your controller, then select power, then select turn off PS4. After the PS4 has completely turned off, unplug the power cable from the power source and disconnect any peripheral attached to your console, such as a controller, headset, hard drive, etc. Wait for about 5 minutes before connecting it again to power and restart the console. Press PS button on your controller to turn it on. After that, if error code CE460628 still appears, then move on the next methods. Method 3, stay up to date. Make sure that you have the latest version of PS4 system software. The updates always offer bug fixes and system performance optimizations. So, just ensure that the latest version is installed on your console. Besides, if the problem appears when you are starting a game, app, that you should also check for updates for apps, games. To do this, highlight a game thumbnail in your game's home and press the options button to display the options menu. Select check for update. If an update is available, follow the instructions to install the update. Method 4. Check server status. You can check the network status by selecting settings. Select network. Go to view status of PlayStation network services, or by using your PC or smartphone to access the PlayStation network status page in description. If there aren't any server issues going on, move on to the next method. Method 5, delete and reinstall the application. If the problem does not appear when you start the game, app, please skip this method. Press the options button on your controller while highlighting the application icon on the home screen and select delete. Then reinsert your game disc into your PlayStation 4 system if you have a disc version, or go to the library to download the application if you purchased the game in the PlayStation Store. Also, if you have a disc version, try clean the game disc. Just dampen a clean, soft, cotton cloth with water. Use straight strokes and wipe the disc, non-labeled side, from the inside rim to the outside rim. Using a dry part of the cloth, Repeat step 2 to dry the disc. After all of the water is gone, let the disc sit for at least 2 minutes to completely dry before inserting it into the PS4 console. 
Method 6. Rebuild Database. Press the power button present on the front panel of the PS4 to turn it off. The indicator will blink a few times. After turning off your PS4, press and hold the power button and keep holding it until you hear two beeps. The first beep will usually be heard when you press it initially and the second beep when you keep pressing it, for around 7 seconds. Now connect the PS4 controller with a USB cable and press the PlayStation button present on the controller. The PlayStation will now be in the safe mode. Select the option Rebuild Database. At that time, it will warn you that it may take hours. Most of the time, this method will help you to fix error code CE460628. Finally, if the problem still appears, then Factory Reset PS4 is the last method that you can do for now. Please refer to the instructions on this website to know how to reinstall the PS4 system software. That's it guys, hope this is helpful. If you have any further questions, please feel free to get in touch or leave a comment. Thanks.